I was so wrong when I was thinking watermelon. Oh my, apparently it's Neapolitan ice cream. Let me smell. That smells nothing like Neapolitan ice cream. Hey Beebuts, I'm back, and today we're gonna be checking out a brand new line of surprise bag plushies called OMG Snuggle Me. And these were sent to me for free so I could open them up, check them out, and give you guys a review. All right, so here's what everything looks like, just a brief peek at them. Unfortunately, they are a bit big, so it's a little hard to show everything at once, but I did get six of these new surprise bags sent to me, which means we're gonna have a good idea of what to expect quality-wise from the new line. And I'm already pretty excited because I can tell right off the bat that they are all different, because they're a nice viewing window in the front, which is a great addition to any surprise bag because that means we're not going to waste money trying to collect an entire set. For packaging, these plushies will come in a blue bag with a cloud on the front covered in colorful stars. At the top it says OMG Snuggle Me, and these are going to be scented bedtime buddies. They're actually going to come in little sleeping bags that we unwrap to reveal our character, which is a really cute concept. And these are going to have a two year scent guarantee. And on the back we can see everything that's going to come inside, as well as 12 different characters and scents listed. Now I was gonna say that they might be color coordinating so we have an idea of who gets what scent, but considering there's two green characters and only one green listing, I'm gonna say that that is probably incorrect. So we're just gonna have to open them and find out. And there's a tear strip right on top, so let's just rip it. Oh, it rips so wonky. Let's check out our first plush scented character. Ooh, the bag smells good. What is, why am I showing it to you? What is that? It smells like watermelon? I don't know, I'm trying to guess before I look at the little checklist thing here, but I don't think I'm gonna get it because there's too many fruits in my head at the moment. So anyways, we'll focus on this. Our plush does come wrapped in its sleeping bag. We can only see the eyes, so we don't know what character it is yet, but this right here is super adorable on its own. It looks like a little baby peanut all swaddled up. The sleeping bag itself is a pink gingham. It looks like a picnic blanket type pattern, and it's covered in little sprinkles of pink, blue, yellow, and white. There's even a fake zipper down the front. And then it opens at the back with some big chunky white pieces of Velcro. It seems like there are three of them, but I don't want to look yet. I'm going to quickly check out the checklist. I wonder if it matters what they're wrapped in or if they're all random. I don't know. But anyways, on this side, we have a checklist that shows all 12 characters and they are so cute. There's even a little blurb about each one. So it looks like we've got Nina, Jubilee, Sprinkles, Bluebell, Penny, Foster, Puddles, Simba, Razzie, Kit, Puffy, and Dozy. And at the bottom, it shows that there are four different rarities. So specials are green, super rares are pink, mega rares are blue, and ultra rares are yellow. And there are three of each. But the good thing is, as I mentioned, you can see right through the packaging, which means if you know who you're after, you can pretty much guarantee who you get. And I think this is Nina just because the face reminds me of a Neapolitan ice cream. And it seems to match what I'm seeing here. Brown on one side, cream in the center, and pink on the opposite. And we'll find out if that's true once we open it. But first I just wanted to show you this side of the card. It has a super cute little birth certificate. And then underneath that it shows all the different scents and the sleeping bags that you can get. But anyways, let's just go ahead and open the sleeping bag so we can see if my theory is correct. And go. Oh, I think it was. I truly think it was. Oh, look at a cute little bum. <laughs> so pull it out. And yep, I was right. So you can definitely use the eyes to determine who you're getting as long as you know what you're looking for. That's really good news because I think these are about $15 each on Amazon or on their website and that's gonna save you a lot of money taking out the guesswork. And here is the cute little plushie. Oh, and there's even a little tag on top that tells you the flavor. So we don't even need to guess. I was so wrong when I was thinking watermelon. Oh my, apparently it's Neapolitan ice cream. Let me smell. That smells nothing like Neapolitan ice cream just so we know. But it does does smell good. We'll just close that up. On the front of the tag it says smell me, which I've done incorrectly apparently. And then on the inside it says, hey there, I'm Nina. I love to invent new ice cream flavors with sprinkles. So here is the plush. It's got a pretty stiff body. If you've ever felt one of those fabric la la loopsies, it's similar to that. The bottom is definitely squishier than the top because it's much more firm in there. And I think there's beads or a scent pack or maybe the beads are the scent pack because I can feel it in the back, but the rest of it is just a lot of batting. So Nina is a bunny with a waffle cone belly and dripping chocolate frosting. She's got alternating arms of brown and pink, which go opposite her feet. Her face is split into three colors of ice cream. So brown chocolate, cream vanilla, and pink strawberry. And then there's ice cream on top covered in pink and brown sprinkles. She's got two alternating ears of brown chocolate and pink strawberry. And her little bunny tail matches the whole Neapolitan look as well. When it comes to her stitching for her face, it actually looks really good. She's got one brown eye for the 
left and a pink eye on the right, big eyelashes, and a cute little mouth with a tongue sticking out. There's even two little stitched on cheeks. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything wrong with this at all. I'm just thinking that the only problems you might have is if you aren't a fan of fragrance, then it might be a little overpowering. And if you like a really soft plushie, this might be a little uncomfortable to sleep on, but it will probably get squishier with time. Actually, I did find one more issue. There are some stitches coming undone at the bottom of this one, which is a little unfortunate. I'm not sure if you guys could see that, but other than that, I'm not finding anything wrong. It actually looks pretty good. And just like that, Nina is back inside her sleeping bag, looking like a super cute little pink peanut. The only thing that would make this better, in my opinion, is if the bags had actually had a zipper seal on top, because I know it says there's a two year scent guarantee, but it could probably last longer if we were able to seal the bag and put it back on display, especially since it's so cute. And there you go, my thoughts. So let's go ahead and open the rest. Okay, let's move those out of the way. Make some room, make some room. Oh my gosh, take up too much space. Next up, we have a pink and blue eyed, purple faced little peanut in a sleeping bag. No, animal, that's the one. Yeah, go. And I can smell it already. It reminds me of a blueberry cheesecake, but that's probably wrong. <laughs> so this time our sleeping bag is blue and it's got little clouds, rainbows, and stars all over. There's a purple zipper in the front and actually the placement of these two rainbows here is kind of cute because it looks like eyebrows. <gasps> and it's sprinkles, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I guess it doesn't really matter. You get to decide. Once again, the tag is not folded, so I'm gonna quickly do that. It says, smell me, which I've already done. I really think it smells like cheesecake. Nope, never mind. It smells like birthday cake, apparently. That was my guess. It says, hi there, I'm Sprinkles. I love to party with Nina and adore cupcakes. And it definitely looks like it because this unicorn literally looks like a cake. So we've got some purple arms with little frosted hooves of white icing and sprinkles, blue legs eggs with the same frosted hooves, and then a layered cake belly that's striped with pink, white, and blue, and then some scalloped icing layers with even more sprinkles. At the back, we have a striped tail of purple, white, and blue. Once again, more sprinkles. And on top of the head, you guessed it, more sprinkles and stripes. This time, a very light blue with white and cute little ears. And the horn is blue, white, and pink. For the actual face, it's purple. Once again, with two colored eyes. The left is a blue and the right is a pink. And again, the stitching looks excellent. Actually, if you take away those eyes, the mouth looks like a super cute little face on its own. <laughs> And the stitching down here is much better. Although there is a spot here where they tighten the back of the neck and there's a string coming undone. And that's kind of a problem because as I'm touching it, I can see that it's continuing to pull. So I think they need to come up with a better way to maybe end the seams and then it would be perfect. So that's Sprinkles who is an ultra rare. Actually, wait, what was Nina? Also an ultra rare. Cool, cool, cool. Next up we have this one here, which has a very blue face staring at us. So I think it's Bluebell. Oh, it smells super blueberry. I'm gonna go with, yeah, it's Bluebell. The card for everyone is the exact same. That's why I'm not showing it anymore. But the sleeping bag is different. This time it's all purple covered in little animals. There's cute little cats, which are orange, green little puppies, pink little bunnies, and blue little bears, which matches the zipper going down the front. Oh, such vibrant colors. And there we go, Bluebell. Oh, it's not a bunny. The ears flopped down. It's a dog. And I think it's actually like a blueberry pie or something because the bottom is brown and the belly looks like it's filled with jelly. That rhymed unintentionally. Awesome. <laughs> so here is Bluebell. It definitely smells like blueberry, so I think I'm right this time. And yes, I am. It's blueberry pie, but that counts because I said it looked like a pie. So I'm gonna call that a win. It says, good day, I'm Bluebell. I love to sing and dance with Razzie, but I'm very shy. Aww. On the bottom we have pie crust essentially, so it's a nice light brown with cute little white paws. The upper portion of his belly is blue and purple, looks like jelly. The arms are blue with white little paws, and the face is a dark blue with one light blue area around the left eye and a white muzzle. Then on top of the head we've got some spilled purple jelly over the blue ears. And once again the stitching on the eyes looks really good, but unfortunately I already saw that the ears are coming undone, because they're currently stitched down. But to be honest, I'm just gonna snip these away anyways, because I like the look of a floppy eared puppy. It makes it have more movement, just like the tail in the back. And now that I'm here, I'm just gonna quickly check the neck. It looks good and the bottom looks good. Well, there you go, that's Bluebell. And in terms of rarity, it is special, which is probably equivalent to common. I'm gonna stop guessing who they are now because I kinda wanna keep that element of fun, which means I'm just gonna move on to the next. 
like, oh, that smells good. Wait, what? It smells kind of like a carrot. I'm so confused. <laughs> so this time the sleeping bag is a plaid pattern of various blues, pink, purple, and yellow with a purple zipper in the front. I can already see that we've got some pink eyes and an orangey brown face, but that's all I can tell because I put the checklist to the side. So let's open at the back. <gasps> oh, it's Foster. <gasps> it's the monkey. It's the monkey. It's the monkey. Oh my gosh. So so cute and he smells so good. I don't understand where I got the carrot smell from, but we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, so there he is on the front. Inside it says, obviously his scent is banana. It says, what's up? I'm Foster. I love to eat banana and jelly sandwiches with dozy. So he is a brown monkey. He's got light brown for his face, which matches the inner section of his ears, as well as his paws. And the other parts of him are dark brown, almost as though he's been dipped in chocolate. And there are sprinkles all over, which are yellow, light brown, and pink. His belly is in a heart shape and it's yellow and that matches the innermost section of his ears. For his stitching, everything looks really, really good. His eyes look good, his cute little mouth is good. On this side, we can see his neck is nicely stitched together. It's tight, there's nothing loose, nothing going down his back. His tail, which is an addition, is nice and secure and there's nothing going on underneath his bottom. He smells great, he's super cute and I don't see anything wrong with him. He's perfect. And according to the checklist, he's a super rare. Down to the last two and I'm gonna go with this one that's got a pink body and bright green eyes because I have no clue who it is. Let her rip. Oh, that smells fruity. Smell with me. I think that's watermelon. I'm not really sure. But anyways, our sleeping bag is a dark blue with tons of zigzags all over in bright yellow, orange, pink, and blue. And then there's layers of zigzaggy polka dots. So it sounds as confusing as I'm making it because who's making the video? Me, it all makes sense. <laughs> Down the front, we have a blue zipper. And then if we turn to the back and open, we find our plushie. Oh, it is watermelon. Yes, I got it right. Oh my gosh. How? cute is this bear. Oh, what was the bear's name? Jubilee. It's Jubilee the watermelon bear. Oh, this smells so good. It actually smells really fresh. I'm confused. It has the artificial watermelon scent, but it also smells cool and fresh. Like I just cut it. I don't know. But anyways, let's read the tag. Inside it says it's watermelon. Go Jen. It says, hey there, I'm Jubilee. I love riding roller coasters with Puffy at carnivals. And here she actually is. She's got a watermelon belly in the sense that it's all pink covered in little black seeds. Her arms and legs look like the rind of watermelon, so they're green and striped. And her face is super adorable. It's all pink with a watermelon hat. So there's green stripes and little watermelon insides for her ears. And her face looks really good. It's nice and vibrant. Those greens really pop against the pink. Now, unfortunately, we have a habit of finding some bad stitching on these. So let's take a quick look. Ah, yes, there we go. At the top of her right shoulder, the seam is splitting and definitely splitting along the top of the right arm. So that's unfortunate. How's the left. Oh, that one's fine. And then on the back, in addition to her super cute little watermelon tail, we have some stretching and seams splitting down the center. So if you pick any of these up, check to make sure that your stitching is good. Because as I mentioned, there is a sack of beads in the back here. I can feel it. And I'm pretty sure that's where the scent is coming from. And you wouldn't want those to make their way out of the plush through a small hole anywhere because they would become a choking hazard. And that's it for Jubilee, who was a super rare. And that means we can move on to our very last plush. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, that smells like pineapple. Very tropical. If this isn't pineapple, I quit opening for the day, which works out because it's the last one. <laughs> so this time for our sleeping bag, we have a fabric that's covered in stripes of green, white, blue, yellow, and pink. And there's tons of super cute little fruits all over like cherries, strawberries, oranges, watermelons, and kiwis. And inside we have a little pineapple cat. So I got it right. Hooray. Here is the tag. Wait, oh, just get to my hand. Oh my gosh. There we go. It says, Hiya, I'm Penny. I love to surf at the beach with Simba and smoothies. So her artwork is super, super cute. But here she is in person. So let's not focus on that super tiny image. What we're looking at now is a real live pineapple cat. How could it get any better? It can't. That's the answer. Although if we had an entire team of pineapple cats, that would be pretty cool. So she's got a pineapple belly. It's different shades of orange with green leaves around the neck. Her arms and legs are striped in three different colors of green with white paws at the bottom. On top of her head, she's got more leaves and her actual face also looks like a pineapple. She's got bright green eyes and all the stitching here looks excellent, which means we have to find the flaw. And I don't think there is. Okay, cool. It's not as though I wanted to find one, but I mean, it seems as though there had been thus far. So I had to do my due diligence, you know? Oh, look at that cute little tail. It's striped with various colors of orange as well and there's a little white tip at the end, so cute. 
She's adorable. Hmm, and she smells really good. Once again, just like the watermelon, super fresh. And according to the checklist, she was a mega rare. Okay guys, that's it for me and our first look at the new OMG Snuggle Me scented bedtime buddies. At the end of the day, the quality here is 99% for me. Like it's really, really good, but there's just those one or two stitches that are irking me. But other than that, I really like the product as it is. The packaging is really cute and actually looks like a perfect little birthday present to give somebody. And at $15 US a piece, they're very inexpensive. The colors are vibrant, the faces are cute, the smells are pleasant, unless you have like six in front of you making your room smell like a candle factory and they look like little baby peanuts when they're all swaddled in their sleeping bags. I like them. And the fact that it has a two year scent guarantee makes it all the better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did and haven't yet then please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews. As always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!